folks, Rob here, and uh, it was out Walmart day, and they finally got some of these in stock in the store. The other one I'd ordered for my daughter Maisie's uh, clogging kit, uh, I had ordered online, and uh, I was pretty impressed with the little box for $29, so I decided I would pick one up for myself, and uh, I'm going to use this to... Uh, kind of store some of the tools I don't use real often um, out here in the shop um, just to get them out of the way I want to get my workbench top cleaned off a little more so I thought I would store some of those tools that don't get a lot of use in this box and so here's the bottom box and that's uh, where I'm gonna try to put most of them it's a uh, it's pretty decent size it is uh, about, uh, probably you could get about 12 and a half inches uh, in it, uh, up to that lip. It is almost nine and three quarters inside, maybe a little less, say nine and a half, because you got this little ledge that sticks out, and then you have probably 13 and a half so that's kind of the dimensions on the box itself the bottom box and uh, what I thought I would put in that is some of these tools that I don't use real often and uh, first I think I'll put uh, my jigsaw it would probably help if I take the blade out of that but I'm just going to stand it up here on its end and put it in like that. Like I said, this is just to get some stuff off the uh, the bench top. So, put my jigsaw in like that. And then I have my little quarter sheet sander. All this stuff is hyper tough. So, and uh, all this lays on my bench all the time. So, I just want to try and get my some of this stuff off my bench of course then I have the hyper tough angle grinder and that also will set right down in there uh, I also have the hyper tough this is the little rotary tool I have used this thing a bunch I loaned it to one of my co-workers I used to work with at the hospital. He installed his flooring with it. I used it to install all my flooring. And uh, for the money, you can't hardly beat it. And then I have my hyper tough corded drill there that will go in there. And lastly, in the bottom, and this is going to this is gonna load this up pretty good but I have my hyper tough half inch uh, impact driver this thing is a beast if you're taking tires off vehicles or whatever this thing will will do it to it I change uh, brake calipers on the wise Fiat so that just gives you an idea of what what all you can get in that bottom box now like I said that's that's quite a bit of weight right there. I don't know how much, but that's quite a bit of weight in that little box. So, anyway, that's kind of what I'm going to put in the bottom box. And we'll put this back on and uh, latch it up here. This does have nice metal latches on it. And our top box, we have our, our tray, which lifts out now. I don't know if this will hold. I would like to store my electric uh, reciprocating saw in here. But I don't know if that's going to fit. No. So this box is a little small for a reciprocating saw. So I will have to put that somewhere else. But uh, anyway, that got most of the some of the tools off the top of my bench. Uh, I also have my hyper tough rotary tool 
I'll put that in the top box. Actually, I'll probably put, this is my OMT Motor Tech. This is a wheel caliper set to uh, put uh, wheel calipers back in. So that's usually sets on my worktop and I want to put that away because that's something that doesn't get used a whole lot. And uh, uh, I do want to leave room to, so that's about as much as I can put in that uh, height wise. I also have some hyper tough drill bits. I don't think that's going to go. I think that's going to be too tight. The Craftsman bit set. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll have to just hang the drill bits up here on the wall somewhere. So, anyway, that's kind of a look at what, uh, I got a whole lot of stuff off my, off the top of my workbench. Uh, in there I do have, and we'll put some of these in the, the top. I'm going to use them top of storage. So we actually have our little, little box here, which will be good for, and these are not interchangeable. So put some jigsaw blades in here. Uh, my blades here are too too long so we'll put those in these top box once I put this back I'll be able to put my blades up here got some DeWalt blades here I'll put my smaller blades and stuff in this this box here and Let's see, what else is there there I can get off the, uh, the counter? That's, actually, that looks, looks pretty much it. So, I went from all this back here was, all those tools were stored back under there. And every time I'd use my uh, miter saw there, it would throw sawdust back on everything. And... Uh, I was constantly trying to clean the, the tools off and this will uh, open up some more area on my workbench and uh, uh, allow me to uh, have a little more room to work there uh, like I was doing my gun video earlier today uh, it's kind of crowded for room so that will give me a little more room uh, let me uh, pause you here a minute and we'll Set this down on the floor and take a look at it. So, I put some brads and just general stuff that was just kind of laying in the way up there. And, uh, there's the tools in there. And, uh, this has got quite a bit of weight in it right now. And, uh, it, uh, seems to roll pretty good. It, uh... You know, this is not the sturdiest cart going, but uh, if I was a professional, I would probably go with something a little heavier duty. But, you know, the handle works good. You uh, pull this to the side, pop it down, it locks up. It uh, rolls fairly easy. Like I said, there's a lot of weight in that. So... What I intend to do with it is slide back here under my workbench. It's perfect height to sit back under my workbench. So, anyway guys, if you uh, got me in that last shot, you've probably seen on a hat on my pajama pants. Because, you know, tonight's uh, my night off first. Uh night and seven days I've been off so I'm uh, just chilling today making a couple videos uh, my last video you could have I was doing the the uh, gunsmithing uh, 
taking apart the shotgun right here at this work area and I was kind of tight so now I can move my miter saw over there out of the way and that gives me a good large work area here's my homemade overhead phone holder mount when I'm not using it I can push it up in there and when I need to when I want to make a video I can simply pull it out to this position and shoot downward toward my tabletop and that's basically a little tripod with one screw holding it to the wall and it creates an arm that I can pull out and when I'm not using it I simply just push it back in it goes in fairly tight to the wall so anyway guys that's a look at the the newest hyper tough uh, box my little girl's still working on hers making stickers and such for it to make her clogging box but uh, uh that just shows a little bit about uh, how much stuff you could uh, put in one of these and uh, i haven't even really used the little uh, plastic box yet uh or the little top uh sections on there the little storage section so anyway guys just a quick video uh little Hadn't done one on the shop here lately. Shop is uh, in disarray again. Uh, I still have my new Craftsman weed eater there that I'm getting ready to unbox in a few days. And my generator, which I've yet to uh, put gas in and fire up. I did put the oil in it and put a little oil in the uh, cylinder and gave it a few cranks, but I've yet to put any gas in it and start it, so... May do a video on that here in a few days, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching the videos. I appreciate everybody, and until the next video, we'll see you later.